Hey, welcome guys. This is Mr. Myosis, and uh, this is a follow-up video from the last one. This is sampling distribution for sample means. And so in the last video, I went over proportions. This one, I went, I'm going to go over sampling distributions for means. So how do we use them? What are some examples that we would see? I'm going to use this one problem and look at a few normal models here. Um, again, whenever we want to use a normal model for a sampling distribution, we need to talk about its uh, assumptions and conditions. So are the conditions met? So in this question here, I'll have you read it on your own. It does say that um, our sample is randomly selected, so that would be our first condition. Our second condition would be that it's less than 10% of the population. And 10 sample of 10 is definitely less than 10% of all Americans. And then uh, finally, the central limit theorem. Well, we don't really actually need the central limit theorem in this case because it says that the amount of salt that is consumed per day by Americans is normally distributed. So since we already know that the population is normally distributed, then the sampling distribution is always good, is also going to be normally distributed. All right, so let's take a look here. Um, what is the probability that the sample mean will be less than 14? So we're talking about a sample and a sampling distribution. So we know that the, the mean, mu, is going to be 15. Mu of x bar. By the way, we're going to, we want to locate these guys here, right? Mu is 15, and sigma is 5. And this is just the population statistics. Uh, mu of my sampling distribution is going to be the same as mu of the population. And sigma of my sampling distribution, sigma x bar, is going to be sigma over square root of n. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and calculate that out right now. 5 over the square root of 10 is going to be, let me see here, one58 So now, what is the probability that the sample mean will be less than 14? All right, well, uh, less than 14. We know that one sa standard deviation away is going to be 13.48. So less than 14 would be, we're gonna, we want to draw this in here. We always, we always want to draw this normal model shaded out so we can really understand what we're talking about here, okay? So we're going to have... Uh, we're going to want this probability in here. And this is uh, a 14, 14 right there. So we're looking at the probability that my sample mean is less than 14. Okay, that x bar is less than 14. So the way we do that is we use normal CDS. So we're going to go to our calculator here. And we're going to do menu, probability, distributions, normal CDF. Our lower bound is negative 99999. Our upper bound in this case was 14. Our mu is 15. And our standard deviation was 1.58. And then we hit enter. And we get 26.34. All right, so we get an answer here of 26.34. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, we could also find a z-score if we wanted to. Z-score is going to be x bar minus mu over standard deviation of x bar, which is this right here. So I'm going to write it as sigma over square root of n. All right, this will be the z-score for a sampling distribution. If I plugged it all in and found the z-score, that would be how we would find that as well. So what is the probability of sample mean will be greater than 17? Well, that's over here. And we want this area here. So let's go to normal CDF again. Again, we're using a mu of 15 and a standard deviation of 1.58 for the sampling distribution. Okay, so probability, distributions, normal CDF. This time our lower bound is 17. Our upper bound is 99999. Our mu is 15. And our standard deviation was 1.58. 10, uh, 0.1027. 0.1027. So we get 10.1027. Uh, 
zero point what did I say that was? One zero two one zero two eight. Okay, or ten point two eight percent. Forgot to put a percent over here, guys. That's it. That's all there is to it, guys. Um, so we're just using the normal model just like we did before, only this time we're using with a sampling distribution. Now, um, I would encourage you to find the z-scores for any of these because that allows you to really um, show your work in terms of understanding what we are doing with these uh, normal models. Okay. I have a couple more examples, but uh, I actually have one more. This time we're doing between 13 and 19. All right, between 13 and 19. So the only difference here is now this is going to be our lower bound and this is going to be our upper bound, but we're still going to use the same mu of 15 and standard deviation of x bar, which was 1.58. Because we're doing, again, we're doing the sampling distribution. So let's go ahead and do that one real quick in our calculator. Probability distributions, normal CDF. Uh, our lower bound here is 13. Our upper bound here is, uh, what did I say, 19? Let me go back and check. Yep, 13, 19. Our mu was 15, and our standard deviation was 1.58. So what do we get? 0 0.8915. 0 0.8915. Oops. Ah, I wrote that wrong. Um, 13, 19 is 0 0.8915. Or 8. 89.15%. So 89.15% is the probability that the sample mean will be between 13 and 19. Okay, so there you go. There's some examples of how we would use the sampling distribution for sample means in a context of some examples. Okay, so we'll talk to you soon and later.